We are live. What? Impromptu. Well, not really impromptu. We've been talking about it. We usually do it. Which that was on there. Sundays. Huh? Just when you said live? Yeah, that's what it said up there. Goodness, I'm not used to this OBS. That's actually still through YouTube, but it's pulling in OBS. So what do we think? got? What do we got here? I haven't been on your set in a while. Me With neither. all the traveling, we uh, we haven't been doing a lot of lives, and we were both talking about how we miss them. Yep. And now I'm looking for the we camera, and I kept looking at your mic even. <laughs> this is how out of practice we are. Well, and... Or at least I am. And since uh, YouTube is doing away with Google Hangouts... Which is bizarre. They, they do have an alternative, but you can't bring people in through it. It's Jeez. been a while yeah. since I've used OBS. I thought, let me use OBS and make sure I can still figure that thing out. Come on. So it took me a while. Hopefully, uh, you guys got video. You got audio. Hopefully, everything is I'm good. loving the Sagamore Spirit bottles. It's like a diamond. Yeah. So yeah, we've got uh, we've got several, and we're, we're going to do reviews on these as well. I poured the uh, the Sagamore Spirits port finish. Too. Let me do that too. Hold oh, on a second. Sorry. Let me look at the fifty point five percent ABV. I, I quick grabbed it. A blend of straight rye whiskeys. And I've got a mash and drum drum kit one. I've got uh, mash and drum as well. Yeah. Coins. So and actually, we got these a while back. Matt Zittrick, uh, whiskey. Um, Crusaders arranged for us to get these from Sagamore, and we need to get these reviewed and get them up. I say this is a review right here. We're gonna score these. <laughs> yeah. Well, this will be a long one though. Got it. I mean, unless you keep it short. That's what she said. Boom. Thirty minutes. So you poured the port. I figured you'd go for the barrel strength. Line. I wanted to start lighter. Oh. Before I went to the stronger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, I do like a port finish. For a long time, my favorite scotch finish was the port finish. Until it was unseated by the tomato. I thought you were going to say by the peat. No, peat's always king. The peat finish. You Pete, went from port, Pete is king. port to peat. Peat is king. Uh, let's Pete's see. not really a finish. Tonight's Poison is tuning in. Eric West, Rob G, Mark Brown, Ronald Rance. Linux Cat, Sneakers and Scotch. I don't know if I've seen. Have we seen Sneakers and Scotch before? Mark JG, Ooh. Shimon. That's interesting. Hoyt is here. Chris, Bourbon <laughs> Sane. G Cat, Travis Woolard. Oh, whoops, it's not what? Sunday. You know what? It is Saturday night. Here yeah. I was thinking, well, yeah. bo both of our wives are out of town and we were hanging out watching a movie and we the other like, guys, do a live. The other guys, I guess, we, had, we had a little desk pop. Here I was thinking it was Sunday night. Yeah. It's not Sunday night. Uh, so it is Saturday, Travis. Thanks for that. Bart is all about he... self-restraint. Thank you. Uh, Keith Especially Richmond. When I got my beach shirts. Keith Richmond says, yo from Philly, new to the channel. Ooh, Thanks, Keith. Nice to right. have you here. Good to have you on, Keith. Um, do, do, do Spencer Mav. Spencer Mav came on as a uh, Patreon during the 12 Hours of Boom. That's right. One He's... thing. Go ahead. Nope. One thing we've been missing with the lives is it also serves as a little micro community for all the whiskey folk. And we've kind of been hearing about it. People just like hanging out and even chatting amongst themselves while we're doing the show. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Spencer Mav, though, uh, he came on as a Patreon uh, backer during the 12 Hours of Boom. The he says, third hey, annual. hey, from the Texas Whiskey Trail, I'm still, I love this I'm summer. at still Austin, so I can't wait. Yeah, we'll be seeing them. I can't hear what you're saying, but cheers. Oh. I'll wave on my way through Kansas tomorrow as I drive back to Nebraska. Got it. Oh, okay. Uh, Eric Gilbert says there are options for hangouts now, so we'll have to look into that. Bourbon mm. Professor is here. Sharper 4221. Eric Waite. Uh, Eric Waite just got home 10 minutes ago from yeah. Scotland. Wow, I was going to say. I saw he had his little flight. Yep. Malt Minion is here. Greg Unrau, Ola, Travis Faircloth, what's going on? Faircloth. So this is interesting. Uh -huh. So first of all, rye is always punchy or, or, or strong or peppery or cinnamon kicks. And I was curious right off the bat, how is a port finish going to fare 
with such a powerful grain. What do you got? A good comment? Hmm. That's the plainest shirt I've ever seen Ooh. Bart wear. Yes, Ooh. it is. This is just my gray. Mm. We weren't sure if we were going to film or not. We were actually yeah. talking about we, show ideas and just yeah. hanging out. Watching I didn't think show. we were going to film. Right. I actually didn't think we were going to film either. And we were like, you know what? We need to get a live out. We haven't been getting <laughs> lives out. So that's why it's a regular show or a regular shirt. Sorry. I don't always wear mangas. That's a good point. We'll come back to that later. Someone remind later, bring up the manga shirts. But on the Sagamore Spirit Port. So the number one thing I was thinking of is what? I'm shaking my head to the Sagamore Spirit Port. Is that a port, what I'm used to, is a lighter finish with the scotch when I have it. Mm. It's not like it's an overpowering, all-encompassing. So I was curious how it hold up. And I'm getting it, but the rye is strong with this one. I mean, very, very strong. It's very sweet. It was sweeter um, than I remember. And there's not that much gone. It has been opened for a month, probably. Really? That long? Yeah. I've, them, well, I've brought them over to your house a time or two, and we just haven't got gotten them filmed. Got it. But, yeah, it's very sweet. Um, like you say, I, I think hints of rye. It's almost like the port is um, stronger than the rye. Wow, I wouldn't say that. Mm. I get that rye first. That very first, the rye hits you on the front. Then I've got to search mm-hmm. for the port. Yeah. But I yep. need to. I'm looking to do the comparison with this, because I do get the sweetness in mm-hmm. there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, cinnamons, the rye is right. there, orange zest, some uh, dill. Mmm. All right. They're finishing their rye whiskeys in the finest European and American port barrels. Perfect blend of plum, cherry. I do get the cherry. Baking spices that conclude with a full dry finish. Interesting. It is a dry finish, and I do get the cherry. I did not get plum yet. Mm, yeah. You get plum? No, the cherry. Yeah, I got cherry all over it. Uh, Donner Pass Whiskey has come in. Uh, Christopher David, Whiskey Mark, Whiskey Whistle. What's going on, Mark? Uh, Joseph C. says, hello, Scott and Bart. Keith Richmond, strictly a Scotch guy trying to get into bourbon. There you go. Try yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. Start, well, I'm going to say it. Get you some Elijah Craig barrel proof. <laughs> it's one that really, bourbon was third in line for me. It was Scotch, then it was rye, and then it was bourbon. And uh, Scotch for me was much more refined, and there were so many different types of Scotch by region and finish and type and location. And um, and then I loved the rise because they were so powerful and punchy and peppery and cinnamony. And they just had cinnamony. I didn't think <laughs> yeah. I was going to be saying cinnamony. And, uh, and bourbons for a long time seemed real samey to me. And... Uh, and really, Scott pulled me over to the house here once and said, hey, give this a shot. And it was Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. We nicknamed it the bottle of wow because bef- five times in a row with pauses, I was like, wow. And then I was trying to think of wow. And it's and he's like, you just said wow five times with no other words, and you're the guy that talks a lot. And I'm like, this is unbelievable. And that really redefined bourbon for me. So, and I'll be honest with you, I haven't been back to the rise as much lately. It's I've been on more of a bourbon kick. I yeah, I haven't been either. Um, I've I've gone to rise very very seldom. This I is very good. The, I still dig the Pikesville rye. Um, this, but uh, oh this, yeah, this port finish Sagamore is yes is good. Yep. And I get a lot of brown sugar caramels in here. So the the giving you a long version, but the different journeys through the different whiskeys and sometimes i'm even in a rye mood and i'll go down and just be like let me grab a rye i want something that's got a little punch in it you know the thing is all it's all whiskey it's all related you know it's grain that's taken and fermented and distilled is that how they do it and (laughs) 
whether it's Canadian whiskey it or was bourbon, God. it was God that rye. did it. There's a yeah, there's whiskey fairies out there. And <laughs> yeah, they fly around. Yeah. They're like Oof. lightning strikes that outpours <laughs> the rye whiskey. But um, it was like Wolfman Jack voice. It, it surprises me how many people. I mean, I guess it doesn't surprise me, but you know, some people like bourbon, and they don't like scotch or vice versa they like scotch but they don't like bourbon even at first we it took us a while to adapt we started with scotch we started with just scotch and we said you know we're in we're in the states and there's all these bourbon yeah, and stuff around. And we ought to try those as well yeah. i remember even me i was like well, i really don't like bourbon it's too sweet um but once we got in there and really on the job training and just yeah. trying different ones and picking them up and moving from this to that you develop what what I believe our show brings to the forefront, and what I also believe is the whiskey movement of the time, of the era, is there's so many out there, and there's so many more coming, that it's this experience, it's this, it's this liquid traveling. And, uh, I mean, you know, we're trying all these different Texas whiskeys, and, and, and there's a Texas trail, and the bourbon trail, and... There's just this experiential whiskey thing going on, and it's awesome. Uh, Eric Evanson is here tuning in. He says, I used to not like rye, but after having the bullet, I'm sold. Yeah, and actually, bullet is a good intro, mm -hmm. um, and it really it gets better from there. Yeah. So, uh, William Davilar is here. Um, We've learned that if you get the dill notes, that's actually coming from like a little bit of <clears throat> like bacteria that gets in there puts off more of that dill note, but I kind of like the dill on a can. Mm -hmm. So Michael Bevan, thanks for tuning in. Juan Juan Quintanilla is here. Spooty ADHD fishing. James Brower, Peter White, Moose seventy six. Moose. Oh man, and I had something you were going. Oh, someone asked uh, if there was a certain ECBP that's better. They're all they're all good. There are differences. There are minor differences. Yeah. Um, yes, some are better. Which ones? The older uh, bottle style. Well, e even the new ones though. I, I call mean, them the pregnant bottle. They look the, pregnant. I, they look swolled up. I think though. I mean, if you see one, pick it up. I if don't you think see you can an be old picky. one. Right. That is true. I don't if think you if see, you go well. Oh, that's uh, yeah. that's that's a one seventeen. Right. I yeah, don't know. They, no, no, pick it up. It. It's good. Get yeah. it. They're good. They're all <laughs> yeah. standard. But if you see the older style, not not what I call the coffin bottle that's slim and trim, but the squatter, fatter, swolled up, get it. Uh, what, the 68.1, I think, is the first one I ever 68, tried. 68.9. 68. 69.8. That's the strongest. Yeah. But the very first one I noticed I had was the 68.1. No. Mm. The first one that we did, the bottle of wow, was 69.8, okay. I want to say. I thought that was the strongest one they've ever had. No, they've had a 70. Woo! Yeah. Shut the door. <laughs> wow. 69.7, 69 I want to say. Gosh, now mm. I'm lost. But no, it was, yeah, it was 60, I think 69.7. Well, if I ever see, that... if, if there's an old one out there and it's too strong for you, call me. Call me. I'll drive for it. Come get it. <laughs> I like the older bottle style, too. I didn't like their new cleaner look. That's just me. So, all right, we're going in. Well, no, we're not. How did that port switched around? We're looking at a little it. switcher, switcher. We're going into the uh, the cask strength, which is where are we at fifty six point one. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. So, but journey, journey, journey. My my current kick, quite honestly, is what I call American single malts. So it's that. It's basically an American, this will be terrible, it's like an American scotch. It's malted barley. So, obviously not scotch, because it's not distilled in Scotland. And it's usually not three years old. But I love, I'm really loving the barley as the grain. You, on that blind bottle I gave you out of that Loveland, Colorado, which had some weird different tastes. You picked the barley as the grain in there. I'm like, wow, that was impressive. Nah. Had I had that blind, I don't know what it. And then you picked up tequila notes in there too. And that would have thrown me. I was like, this one's so weird. Yeah. 
<laughs> and you're like, oh, this tastes like barley. I'm like, what? <laughs> How'd you do that? Roger Neubauer says, how do you like our Baltimore flavor compared to the other locations? Um, just, I mean, sitting here this short time, the, the port is very good. Yeah. And someone mentioned rye and, and, uh, baking spices. There's a lot of baking spices, right. which I would, the, uh, I would, uh, preempt that with that. I think that comes from, uh, more aged ryes. Ooh. Your younger ryes, you don't get a lot of those, the baking spices with. True. I think. I think the you know the seventeen seventy six um, was just a slap. Yeah, that's in the a face. young, yeah, that's a young. That's ride. a young one, just really yeah. pumping up the ABV. But when you look at some of the Mictors and the uh, the Pikesville, right. well, and then they're um, doing this those toasted. One, even this one, this port finish yeah. Sagamore is that's good. This is, has got a good, strong, hefty punch to it. This, so I'm I'm seeing what, yeah, you can definitely pick up more of that sweetness in here, that port finish, the mm -hmm. cherry. This is more what you would expect from a punchy rye. He's talking about the cask strength. Yeah, the cask strength. Sorry if you can't see it. The cask strength definitely is delivering on what you would think you're going to get from a cask strength rye. Oh, one lost cause is watching. He says, I was not a fan of American Westland single malts. Mm. We like those. Yeah. Those are good. Now, I like their regular offering better than their peat or their sherry. I know you like the sherry. See, yeah, I need a bottle of the sherry though. We have the uh, it's the Amer is it the American yeah. American oak? Yeah, Westland American. Yep. American I've got oak. the sherry in my place. If you even, I don't a know. Bottle? Yeah. Do you? Yep. Maybe I'll trade you out because I got I think I got one of the peats. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, oh. They're regular. I mean, that's fine. I'll I'll trade you out. I like having them just for the differentiation. Mm -hmm. But they're they're regular American. I think they call it. Do they call it their American single malt? Yeah, I think they do. Yeah. That is my favorite. It's well, got something yeah. a little to it. I don't like their peated as much or their sherry as much as their regular offering. I want to say I think they might have American. It might be the Amer Westland American Oak. Yeah. Yep. They do a cast strength one, too, that I have not had. I would love to try that. Um, not that their peat one or their sherry finished one's bad. Um, I just uh, wasn't peated enough for me, and their sherry one tasted a lot like I get a little cherry cough drop on it and i didn't like it as much but there i love their standard american uh, chad adams has come in mose chun and drew bills from the scotch four dummies what's going on drew mm, they just hit a million views did they good for them yeah. yep congratulations that's a that's a good achievement right mm -hmm. there but he says hi guys g and y's tonight for us cheers what's g and hold y's? on hold on let me don't don't answer g's and y's Oh, G and T's. No, no. He corrected it. He corrected oh, it. G well, and T's. Well, that's guys in tights. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, oh, yeah. I like when you pause because you're like, what? I didn't think you were going to say that. Uh, Oscar Zoroaster. Z Zoroaster. With Drew in here, though, before we move too far, Drew playing the piano. He's in a band, plays keyboard. When we had the gathering, my fondest moments of the gathering were everything we did at the Drury. The music at night, this impromptu, this the the night manager coming over, the almost like dueling pianos, but they're on the same piano. Uh, Preble, Shakes, uh, Pennington, and, and Cousin Shane are here singing. That was phenomenal. And Drew's just rocking out. We did Piano Man. Remember mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. God, I love that. <laughs> Bottle sharing going on all over the place. Sorry. Go ahead. I, I had a moment. Uh, Wes Jolly just came in as well. Ooh, Howdy, Wes. Love the Jolly. Love the Jolly. <laughs> I do. I love the Jolly. Uh, well, Drew Bills, LOLs at your guys in tights. <laughs> well, what's G and T? What is it? Or did I miss it somewhere in the Maybe answer? Maybe I was close. This is good. I'm liking their cash strike. I get a little brown, not a little, a lot of brown sugar, a lot of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Chris Beaton just come in. Woo. Let me add a little water to that. That's good. I'm still on the port, and it's 50.5%, and I'm drinking it neat. Well, you want to drop? Mean, you want to drop? Yeah, throw, I mean, I got a little bit left, but... Bloop. Want more? That was good. All right. I'm going to bring this down a little bit more. So, one thing we do want to do is get a little bit more back... Oh, this is going to be a horrible sentence. A little bit more back into some live shows. And... Um, 
<laughs> what? 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 Mark G, Mark J G says it's guys in tights all the time for them. Ah, <laughs> gin and tonics. Oh, gin, gin and, and tonics. tonics. I think guys in tights is actually the better answer. I want to see. Uh, um, I'm forgetting his name. He's the the chef on their show, the shorter guy. Um, Sean. Sean. Uh, Sean just come in with some tights on, just kind of do a yep. little pirouette. <laughs> uh, Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews are here. What's going on? Oh, he loves the Bart bag. <laughs> Wizard of Oz. The Oz is Oscar. Zorosta? Zorosta? Zoroaster? Sorry. I'm the terrible pronunciator. And uh, I'm known to say to hats. Uh, so, so that anyways, was from Oscar, good to see Oscar. Um, where'd it go? Oh, Max Phillips says, "Where is this distillery?" So this is uh, made in Baltimore, Maryland, or bottled. It's actually, and they put on there, distilled in Indiana. Oh, it's an MGP so it's MGP ride. juice. No wonder I'm digging it. Yeah, MGP's doing some good stuff. Yep, always. But uh, bottled by Sagamore Spirits, Baltimore, Maryland. Got it. You know what? Some time up. in Baltimore. You know, there was a couple years ago, there was the whole controversy on Colorado whiskey, and then it was sourced by, from MGP, and they never had it on the label. You remember who that was? Yes, that was um, that was Tin Cup, yep. wasn't it? Yep. Well, I just picked up today the Tin Year. They had it on clearance, basically, so I picked that up for us to try. Cheap? 39 bucks. That's a good price. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we'll get yeah. that. No, the time I spent in Baltimore, right out of high school, I worked on this cruise ship, and we docked right down on what was new at the time, called the pier, right next to the USS Constellation, which was the sister ship of Old Ironsides, which is in Boston. And I toured it. Awesome ship. Eric Evanson says, speaking of hats, uh, of speaking of to hats, nice to hat, Bart. Mm-hmm. Thank you. That is our Scotch Test Dummies hat. We're almost out of these. I think we only have two left. Two of fact. left. We're going to end up doing another one's going to be the Android, the Android head, I think, on there. we got to get done. Oh, by the way, who was it? It was Quok. Quok, if you're listening to this now or later, I don't think I see you in here. I sent you a message on Patreon. Um, I need to get you a shirt. So you, you've reached the funding level where you get the special... Uh, Super Scotch God polo shirt. And I sent you a message. Go read that. I've just requested your mailing address and shirt size. I like to confirm your address because they change a lot of times on what Patreon has. So on that note, if you guys come on Patreon, we have a special Patreon coin. And there's a shirt level that you can get to. And it's just fun. George Kaplan says, thanks for your three-year Balvenie review. Hope the Pete one will be better. Three-year Balvenie? Yeah, it was oh, 12. Oh, like you thought, you thought it was three Yes, years I old. thought it was only three because I had a blind and it was 12. That was that was a little bizarre. Yeah. They went back and uh, what they, uh, they finished in a virgin uh, a American toasted, oak, toasted, yeah, a toasted virgin, American virgin oak. And it kind of uh, made it... Impart some different flavors. Yeah, it tasted like it was a, a young whiskey, and I got a lot of burning wood like the morning after when you're around the campfire, and it's all burned up. It was weird. I had to go in a few minutes ago and change the title because I put Scotch Test Dummies live on Sunday. Oh, yeah. yeah, that would throw people. Yeah. Somebody's out there. So it's Saturday, though, now. I changed yeah. it. Nice. Nicely done. <laughs> Somebody would be like, the shrooms are kicking in from college. <laughs> That's a good one. I want to bring another Sagamore down. Can I grab another yeah. one? Yeah, you bet. I'm going to grab. Uh, Ron's Wood Turning Shop is watching. I have not seen Ron oh. watching before, but he says, so far, just bourbon. <laughs> And monkey shoulder. Oh, yeah. Soaking up this spirit knowledge like a sponge to learn more and explore. Yep. Yep. Exploring's the key. Let's let's make room. Make it. Well, make let's get room. Weekend. We're, done. We're moving on from the port. So we'll this is their, their rye whiskey that is not cast strength. That's just the entry. Okay, that's the entry, entry one level. Here. Ooh, and this is the double oak. You better just go, well, I'll tell you, I, I've tasted all four. The yeah. entry level is obviously the entry one. Right, so I'm going to grab lightest. that next. Yeah. 
I would go there I'm before you go there, get there, and then I'll go double your, oak. What's your, the what are they finishing it? A virgin, or and then they're throwing it in a first fill, or what are they doing? Uh, they put it in two barrels. Right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> they're finishing. I can't read that. They, you know what? I hit the age level where if you have gold lettering on a black sticker, I can't read it. It's on the back. It says something. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Can't read it. Three diamonds, two barrels. It's pretty small. I mean, even on that bottle, it's One extraordinary small. straight rye whiskey. After aging our award-winning spirit for four years, four. we place That's it good. into a second oak barrel. Oh, that's nice. And wait. And they wait a little bit. The new toasted staves re-energize the aging process. Okay, so they throw toasted staves in there. Evoking flavor. Well, no, they're just saying the barrel is made of staves. They just said they put it in a, a different barrel. Oh, okay. A second oak barrel and wait. The new toasted staves re-energize the aging process, evoking flavors full of caramel and dark vanilla mm. and colors that radiate amber and warm chestnut. Mm. It's a straight rye whiskey, perfect for spirits of celebration. Now this is not a bad entry level rye. Yeah, yeah, yeah they were all good. Where <laughs> is this is forty one point five percent? Well, no, I just know seeing how much lighter it was. No, I was laughing. Moose seventy six says, "Who's the new guy in the gray shirt?" Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hold on. Let me let me really come in. Oh, howdy to Go Habs too, and Sane Crazy Twelve tuning in. Um, let's see a couple things I've got coming up around August thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth. I'm going to be down in New Orleans. If you're in that area, come on down and see me. Nolans, Nolans, and uh, uh, reach out to Bobby Childs while you're yep, down there you're gonna too. Yep, going to reach out Adventures to the Bobby, in, to the Childs and whiskey. And uh, then I'm going to be in the Dells in Wisconsin, um, driving out there f uh, Friday. That's pretty uh, good. Eric Evanson says, oh, and Scott, if you really don't like that Balvenie from the last review, well, he'll gladly help out. Try it. Bart, you need a steam pump magnifier like Ralphie. Isn't that the truth? Okay, so I did. I did just finish the port Put finish this. Sagamore. I'm going to the base, the entry level one here as well before because I haven't had the cast strength one yet either. That is a nice sipper. And here's what I like with my rise, especially in July and August. I I love to throw a couple cubes in because the I just tasted what you ate. There. Sorry. Yeah, I was some kind of barbecue. <laughs> um, whew, that'll ruin your palate. Focus. Yeah. You got to be able to move I'll put, on. I'll put a bunch of, of ice in there and then go in with a real peppery, strong rye the, and, and let it work itself down and water itself out. This smells like a young rye. I mean, it smells like a, like, I mean, like a good rye, but right. it smells younger. It's more punchy. It's more spicy. Well, yeah, it's funny because you're right. I think I can pick the youth up more on the nose. Yeah. And you're right. That's interesting. Hmm. Uh, somebody just asked when you were going to be there. Hmm. Uh, New Orleans, August 13th, 14th, 15th, if I remember right. So, And I Keith Richmond has to go. See you, Keith. See you, Keith. And then the Dells, I drive out Friday. I actually hit Chicago. Um, it's a family reunion I'm headed to. My brother lives in Chicago. I did tell him. Uh, for the family, I'm going to run a little whiskey tasting there. And I told my brother, how far is the closest Benny's? I'm going to pop in there, pick some stuff up, hopefully. And he's holding on to, uh, he's holding on to those compass box, those Benny's compass box ones. I said, I may grab mine for the trip. We'll leave yours in his whiskey closet and I'll bring it back with me. Why are you going to go shopping, though? Take some with you. Why would you have to go shopping? Well, one, I want to shop. I want to go into Benny's well, and sure. I want to shop and see what they got. Yeah. You going to buy five bottles, though, just Probably. for a tasting? Sure. That would give me a reason. See? Hmm. And the wife's like, what are you doing? It's for the it's tasting. For the show. Yeah, it's for the show there. <laughs> it's for the tasting with the family. 
And she'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah, you always got to work that in. I could. I mean, we're driving, so I can bring whatever. And I'll probably bring some stuff. I'm going to bring some of the glasses and all that kind of stuff. And board games. Ooh, what? Board games and whiskey, gentlemen. And uh, ladies. DJ Beacon wants to know if that was a test to see how well you can focus. Yes, it was a test, and Bart did not do well. No. I'm right in the middle of trying to taste, and all of a sudden I got, like, chicken pot pie. <laughs> Like, actually, it was a little bit of everything because. So I'm home with my 19 year old. Uh oh. My wife and 16 year old went to families in Dallas for the right. week. So I told my 19 year old, I said that our plan for the week is to clean out the fridge. Clean and it Get out. rid of as much stuff. I mean, from condiments. You know, we've got like jars of Wasn't pickles. Sure that sentence was going. Jars, jars of peppers, salsas. You know, mayonnaise, condiments. mustard. Today we're eating ketchup, son. Yep. You gotta use it up. <laughs> You gotta use it up. So, for supper, I had I had a bratwurst. Ah, uh, I, I had that's some what I got. Uh, some kimchi. Oh my god, this is spicy. Supper? Yeah. No wonder I couldn't peg that. Yep. It's like uh, a blind bottle review. On the bratwurst, I put ghost pepper pickles and spicy how, mustard. How is your stomach alive? I wouldn't be able to even sip whiskey. Up and there. I had uh, two two bites of cheese. I had uh, an avocado with some salsa on it. Yeah. This is, let's hope Mrs. Bart Beg's not watching. She's not watching. She's in Puerto Rico. <laughs> She's at some family event. Oh, yeah. Michael T. has a good suggestion. Go visit Delilah's while you're there. Yeah. I don't know if you're going to have too much time. Right. Though, to that's the issue there. Be running around. Right. Yeah, I won't be getting down to, I mean, I know that's a hell of a whiskey bar. Yeah. So, but. Uh, <laughs> DJ Beacon. It says, uh, you keep them condoms in the fridge. <laughs> nope. Whiskey and the sex can't stay, but I love you, crazy bastard. <laughs> the cowbell for wrong. Yeah, I like how I spelled that out. Bass and R. Well, he separated it so that it wouldn't get right. flagged. To hats. Yep. I figured he was doing it for me. I was actually in uh, Wisconsin Dale several years ago. There's a real nice spa up there, world uh, world class spa up there. Really? It's one of the top spas in the United States. Holy moly! Oh, I remember when Sundara, you went to that thing. Sundara Spa. Yeah. I remember when you went there. Took we... my wife there as uh, one of our for one of our anniversaries, and because uh, she loves massages, she loves you know all that stuff. All the I you thought know. she would have hated them. Oh no, she loves them. Right. So since I went with her and it's for our anniversary, I thought, well, I'll do a couple with you. Oh, <laughs> oh my sure. God, dude, yeah. had, that was the best freaking time. Sure, I was like snoozing, snoring away pampered. during one. Yeah, get pampered. There's one you get. Well, you it's a couple's massage, but you sit in two different like hot tubs. It's like overflowing bathtubs. You know, it gets you warmed up. Then they and that you both get your massages in the room, and then they drain this hot oil. You're laying on your back. And they pull this hot oil. And Hold it on, comes let me on picture your this. It comes on your forehead, and then it runs down your scalp as you're laying on your back, and it just puts you out, snoring, snoozing. Woke up, didn't know what year it was. Like Mr. Bruno, your time yeah. is up. No, you wake up and I'm in there like, hey, I'm rubbing that oil on you. You'd be like, ah, ah. The Bart would be like, that's terrible. They put yeah. this oil on you. Yeah, they put oil on you, and you fell asleep. What? What? I didn't get Who my money's worth. You better keep me awake during my massage. <laughs> as soon as you uh, fell asleep, they were like, we don't have to. This is great because now I'm getting paid for the full 45 minutes. He's sleeping. I don't want to wake him up. Christmas on Crestline is tuning hey. in. Keith Daniel and Multi-Haggis Muncher. <laughs> great name. Yep. Uh, hoping all is well. It is going well, Multi-Haggis. Uh, Donner Pass Whiskey has a question for Bart. Bart is the part of Puerto Rico where family is doing okay, rebuilding after all the damage. Yeah. I mean, they didn't have power for forever. She's in the center. Um, Calle is where she's at. I got a buddy of mine that stays right in San Juan, but he had a, a generator, so he never lost power. The weird thing is, before that hurricane hit, she was there, like the summer before, and she's like Puerto Rico, and she grew up in Puerto Rico. I mean, she's from Puerto Rico. She's like, they're screwed. They have no, this is before the hurricane. She said it was hot, and they were having blackouts, rolling blackouts, because everybody's just using their AC. 
And then she said uh, she knew a family member that knew somebody that apparently, in order to fund pensions, they just quit doing maintenance and upkeep on the electrical grid. And so she's like, as soon as they get hit with a hurricane, they're screwed. I sh and if she would have been able to put money on that in Vegas, she would have won. Because as soon as the storm comes in, pfft. so... But then I got a nephew that stays there. He's, well, he, he grew up there, but he's a Marine. And uh, he said there's all kinds of problems. Like, uh, they were out clearing trees off and down lines. That happens. You know, that's hazardous, but when the whole grid's down. But there was one guy that wouldn't, uh, wouldn't clean anything up. He's like, they pay people for that. I'm not doing it. And I was like, what? Because in Kansas, you'll have, like, like guys will go out and just be clearing the streets with their own homemade chainsaws and stuff. I mean, they'll just open the roads up, not power lines. Don't mess with power lines. You'll get killed, but nice safety, public safety message. Yeah, there. there you go. Don't mess with power lines. You get killed. <laughs> You'd be like, we ain't had power on the Island for months. No, no. Said Jimmy's gone. Bye Jimmy. So uh, Richie Z just came in. Swami over at Malted in Montreal is here. Patrick Fulmer. It, oh, Chris, uh, Christmas on Crestline should be Christmas in Colorado Springs because I think he's in the Springs right now. Oh, is he? Yeah. So. And Scott, my bourbon journey just came in. What's going on? Uh, working our way through the Sagamore, Sagamore Spirit Rise and uh, pretty impressive so far. Pretty yeah, good. this this double oak is very oaky. But it's got something else going on. I swear I got a touch of bacon. Yona Wishkin got my right. first bottle of Boom this week. A119 for 66 bucks. Good. What? Sip this. Oh. I swear, like, I had a little bit of, like, cured bacon. But it's also very oaky and dry. Mmm. 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 Yeah, a lot of the spices in yeah. there. The a lot oak of the cinnamon. And smoke whiskey reviews. Um, That's cool, man. Yeah, it is astringent. Yeah, very dry. What was you saying though? A bunch of I don't know. I don't necessarily a get bacon. a bunch of no, no. I'm not getting it right now anyway. But yeah. Oh, Eric Evanson said that uh, Jay Henry and Sons is up there by uh, Wisconsin Dells. Ooh, Dane, Wisconsin. So I gave you the address. There. Okay, thank you. Hold on. Oh, no, you're out with the family. You need to quit burping have... your kimchi or whatever the hell you're doing. That's <laughs> killing me. So we're going to get a photo of that real quick, just in case we're in that area. You can look it up as well. It's on the, probably on the internet. internet. But now I got it. Oh, Randy Look at Malted. Swami. Thank you, Swami. That's probably for the kimchi. Ten Soviet Kanuka Stanian dollars. I would just use it on stupid stuff like food and shelter <laughs> and a haircut. That's what you should get, Swami. Got it. Yeah, Robert Licorice mm -hmm. from Iron Root. Robert! He was on uh, set not long ago. By the way, I sent you an email, Robert. Um, I think you left your backpack at our place, if that's your backpack. Yeah. I check I the email. He came in with it. Yeah, check the email. Uh, Randy Adams was here, though, who we met in Scotland was on, arranged a vacation with his wife to go to Scotland when Roy had organized the tasting mm. at the uh, Bon Accord and met up with us there. Yes. So and then he went on to tour around. Toured. More cowbell. DJ Beacon, you can make a ring, DJ. <laughs> you can make a ring. You just got a Snapchat and that cowbell will continue. Christopher David gets marshmallow on the nose from the double oak. Oh. Huh. Let's see. So, uh, is it is it too oaky? No, it's not too oaky. It's definitely oak what, forward. What do you think's been your favorite of the four? Mm, cast strength. Yep, cast strength, and then I got to tell you, I really like this entry level one. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm sipping on it still. Um, that one's I, I kind think of it's sweet, but it feels like it's. I'm gonna need to spend more time. There's a lot going on. So that's the port, yeah. The cask strength, the double oak, and then just the standard straight rye. I'm sipping with my pisk, my pinky out. I don't with know what? why I almost said pisky out. My <laughs> pinky. Robert says, "Oops, yeah, 
Hey, just, uh, I sent you an email on it. Check that email. I sent it right after, um, the next morning when I was cleaning up after the boom. Uh, I, uh, basically I said I can ship it back to you if you need to. Or, if you don't, I'll see you when we go down to, uh, to the tribe in Austin. Uh, do, 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 do. No water on the straight rye. Very sweet. A lot of cinnamon. Nice rye. Really a good. Um, we've ha I've had a lot of worse ryes. That's for sure, especially for entry level. Looked like you had a rattlesnake up there or something. I don't even know what you're looking at up there. <laughs> I don't know. Now it looks like a rock. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Doesn't look like a rattlesnake. Well, I saw the tail from over here. You can see what looks like a tail shooting out like a rattler. Bourbon Sane, Chris says, if Robert Licorice leaves a backpack at your place, you don't ask questions. You just drink everything that's inside. There was it. some iron root in there. Yep. You know, what was nice was they've got a, they're doing a release for their fifth anniversary, and we got to sample a part of it. Yes, we did. We just got to sample a part. <laughs> Cowbell! Oh, love the rhyme, nice. but Pete still rules. I like the way you talk. I like the way you talk, John. <laughs> oh, Robert just says bring it in October. No rush. All right. Okay. Perfect. Uh, and and the dirty socks that are in there. Yeah. Know, and Well, there was from. some charging some cables. There might be and, all kinds of stuff in there. Well, there was the thing. The thing was in there. You don't know what's going to show up in that backpack. <laughs> I'll return it to you. I'll give your bag to Marsha. She'll you know, be like, what the hell? You what's know, in here? You know where we work at, Robert. You don't know what's going to be in that backpack. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, I returned it as I found it. <laughs> Keith Daniel. Make the cowbell ring, gentlemen. Bring them super chats in. I'm Ooh. just on my second one here. I haven't had the, gone to the cask strength or the. I had a, a sip of your double of the double oak, but mm -hmm. I really think I think the port when I when I tasted them originally, the port and the cask strength kind of stood out of weight. Now I mean, but you know your 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 straight rye at forty six percent. You had the double oak. What? Um, Bart's way too far away from the mic. You're Thank closer, you. You're closer than me. The mic oh, is too high. Oh, they're just saying you're not encroaching on it. I don't think they're saying that. I yeah. think they're saying it's quiet. You need. To, you, you should probably get closer to it. Hello. Bring that bad boy in, baby. Don't touch it. Don't I'm touching it. it. It's going to fall down. Well, now what's going down, on? But now it's... No, I like it. Don't put it back where it was. <laughs> oh, my email what? popped up. Yeah. Your email dominates. You've got it set as primary. I do? Yeah, that means it'll it'll take over your screen when it comes up. Hmm. It doesn't know. It doesn't always do that, though. Every time I see it pop up, it takes over. Hmm. Uh, Terry Miller is tuning in. I'm trying to see if there's anybody else. Whiskey Freedom. Uh, mm -hmm. Salute, Scotch Test Dummies. I'm up in Speyside this week and planning a visit yeah. to Tomatin. Ooh. Which bottle... Hold on. I know what we're going to have to answer there. Mm -hmm. Which bottles do you re recommend picking up? Go ahead. Let me, let's put it this way. We traveled across the oceans. Yes. Across and, the ferries. And he bought two. And across the dry lands and the mountains and the lakes and the lokes and the rivers and the streams. We even fought the Loch Ness Monster. And I bought two bottles of the he did. PX distillery yep, the release PX, only. Yeah. And I bought... You could, it's, I bought one, and then I got their 1990, which is twice as, three times as expensive. But I wanted to get it, so we had it on file. And sometimes I like it. And he's like, you should get two. And, and sometimes I'm like, I should have got two of the PX. Because oh, yeah. it is that good. Yeah. It is really good. I hope they got a bunch of that stocked away, because it is Awesome. Well, I think when uh, I think when we had Scott on the twelve hours of boom, he said that one was empty now, and they're trying to get the next one up, or maybe it's it's either about empty, it's either empty or about empty, and they're they're looking for the next one to replace it. Call them and tell them you're going to be headed there, and you want them to set one aside for you. They were doing that, and it made us look like rock stars tell them the scotch test dummies told yeah because they said told people call were calling them. saying i saw this bottle on scotch test dummies i'm coming there but it's not for a month can you bottle one for me and i'll get it and they were like sure and uh, they were like wow 
So, who was that? We, I know we read it, but who was that? I don't know. It's duct tape and rope. I don't know. I just saw that. Whiskey Freedom. That's who that was. Whiskey Freedom. That's a good name. Tomatin PX Distillery. <laughs> Salty Dog says, love you guys. Oh, thank you. We love you too, Salty yep. Dog. Thank you, Salt. He is a salty dog. Uh, Daniel Brown. Mike measuring Mike contest. Measuring contest. That's right. Well, see, I like the mic when it's down on the table because I can lean in on it. I can kind of play with the mic. He likes to have the mic on a special fancy mount up and out of the way. Yep. And it just sits It should there. be out of view. But I like when you can pull that mic in, and be. but I think I'd knock the whole thing off if I jacked with it. <laughs> And then he'd be like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Don't, don't touch it. Greg Unrile says, I make my own choices. That's right. That's what happens at Tomatin. Was ist los? <laughs> Nicht ist los. <laughs> I will always remember Scott coming in and be like, what are you doing? This is the visitor center. I mean, why are you hey, yelling hey, German? Yeah, hey, hey. You obviously had too much. In yeah, that's house. what he's thinking. The Dunnage, hello. Move away from the cask. <laughs> Yeah, and then he didn't know there was a whole German story involving. So, thank goodness. I bet you he was like, hello, lightweight. Then he found out there was a German story, and she did end up buying the PX. I make my own choices. <laughs> Ooh, I dated a German girl once. That's That was the quintessential German girl right there. I make my own choices. Yep, yes, you do. Uh, Yona Wishkin, uh, like the Monique Houston interview. Yep, Monique was uh, Monique phenomenal. Was fabulous. Very good. Love to have her yep. back on and talk oh, some yeah. PX and some port. Oh, my God. We Jerry, met her in whatever. Kansas City, and she was just so knowledgeable. I got to try some of the cast strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Monique's great. And she's in Chicago. Yes, ben. she is. Ben is in Chicago. I know. I know everybody's in there. That's the whole deal though i'm like driving in and then we're driving out to the dells the next day the dells the dells do, 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 do. what do we got here y'all need a shirt now we're all right mark dan e says when he mentioned the stds at tomatin they charged <laughs> him double ah <laughs> as we called ahead and told yeah him who he was. we told him don't trust that guy he plays the bagpipes <laughs> Oh, man. What else we got? We'll wrap her up here pretty soon. What makes you like Ardbeg over Lefroy? Blind Me, tasting? Yeah, that's what happened. Literally, I was I, I had myself in the Lefroy camp. And we did blind tasting, and I was picking Ardbeg after Ardbeg, and that's where they started calling me Bartbeg or Ardbart, and it was all blind. And I was getting all these leather notes and tobacco notes, and it was again and again. I mean, different Ardbegs I was grabbing. Christopher David, he's making the bell ring, baby. Woo! More cowbell. Thanks for reviewing Thank you, the Sagamore Close to Home Distillery. Nice. Yeah. Oh, Catnap G is here. That's a great name. He must just call. He says, uh, hey, guys, nice uh, nice to finally join you. I, th I figured I've, I've seen the name. He must just be commenting on uh, videos. Right. Yeah, he not or on she. the lives. Uh, do, 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 do. Food Quig, you guys, and Horst are my absolute faves. Cool. It's good company. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the Art Nouveau style bottles. They look good. They're actually a little harder to grip than mm. I thought. Oh. Not harder to grip, but they're chunky. Wow. That cask strength is good. It is. It's mm. delicious. Well, there's a lot of cinnamon and brown <laughs> Dan sugar. Danny, Danny gave us a lot of emoji love. And a drop of water in there. There we go. It's good to see Richie Z in. You know what I'm not doing? A lot of crinkling. <laughs> Closer to the mic. Uh, there, was a, there was a while I wasn't allowed to hold the actual plastic bottle because I was crinkling. I had to pour it into the glass and then get the plastic out of my hand. That was a rule. What uh, So, Bart, we've got the four Sagamore spirits here from Baltimore, Maryland, and what are we going to do? We're going to test it! Sagamore style! All four different kinds of rye style. That's what we should have done. We missed that. Yep. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Ron's Wood Turning Shop wants to know, is Ardbeg supposed to taste like licking an ashtray? Yep. Dirty ashtray with leather straps thrown in and a little bit of tobacco. Raw tobacco. Hmm. Yep, that's what it is. It's an acquired taste. I did not like peated stuff the first time I tried it. I was like, what the hell? So don't give it to a newbie unless you prep them. Uh, Eric Evanson says, no coins. We're using uh, mash and drums. Mash. And C's. Mash and drums coins. Yep. These are real thin, too. These are like wafers. <laughs> yep. Don't try to eat it. <laughs> uh, what do you guys... like communion. Catnap G wants to know, what do you guys think of the new experimental Glenfiddich, the fire and the cane? That actually came out a little bit back. Uh, we've got it up there, matter of fact. Yeah. Didn't do right much there. for me. I, I liked got, it. I didn't even pick up the yeah. peat. Remember? Uh, I had true. a blind. Yeah. I was like, I don't get any peat here. Like, now, we have had it peat. since, and I did get peat. Yeah. But total blind? Nope. <laughs> One lost cause says you just woke up as kids. Mm. Oh, we should have uh, turned down your speakers. No. Get ready. No. Blake Martin's tuning in. I like the last name. Martin? Yeah. Oh, I thought you Why? said Blake Barton. No, Blake Martin. Martin. There it is. I thought it was Blake Barton. I'm like, great. Double B. Uh, Sagamore Spirits, the, uh, which if you had to pick a, someone to ask, what was your the favorite Sagamore? Um, cast strength. I would spend a little bit more time here, the cast strength and the port, but that cast strength is pretty darn good. There's a lot packed into that. A yeah. lot of flavor. I'll come back and finish. I started with the port. Now let me just pop just a little bit more of the port in there. We'll see here. Uh, Mark Brown is trying to order one of the last two hats. He's getting a spinning wheel. Try using a yep. different... Um, there you go. If you're on Safari, use Chrome. If you're on Microsoft Explorer, Windows Internet Explorer, try Chrome. Try If you're on Chrome, try something else. DJ Beacon, STD. So which is your favorite Sagamore ride tonight? The cast strength for me, although I'm going to... That's the port? the port. Let me go back. I'm going to touch quick. back in on the port real quick. I started with it, so let me finish with it just to kind of round things out. I think I do. I think I have to go with the port. They're both good, and that cast strength is phenomenal. <laughs> that port is a different level. It's a different... That's it, It's a nice finish. One not necessarily overriding the other. I mean, it's rye and port. It's, it's a sweet rye. I'll give you it's that. It's a very nice blending between the two. I'm still mm -hmm. going to go cast strength, but... But second in line would, would be the port. And I'm I'm actually still pretty stunned that the port held up. I thought mm. the rye was beating it down, but the port's holding up just fine. The cherry coming through. Well, it could be 50.5%. Could be I sure. just a little bit extra ABV in there. Giving you a little extra oomph. Huh. Catnip G says, I wish I could find a woman who wouldn't mind my whiskey love. A lot of women are starting to like whiskey. Mm. So... Um, matter of fact, our, our uh, the uh, Monarch, probably one of our better whiskey bars, one of two or three, is owned by, uh, I'm forgetting her name, is it Jennifer? It's owned by a woman. She does so. a great job. And then Monique owned a uh, whiskey bar in the 90s in Omaha, Nebraska. Mm -hmm. So, night, Swami. Good night. Uh, those are they're both really good, man. That, that cast strength is good. There's a lot going on there. Licorice! Robert, Room and board. Room and board for the backpack. That's right. That backpack did have some whiskey in it. Did. Did. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shakes Pennington, the uh, the guitarist, got a hold of it and was like, well, hello, little friend from, from Iron Root Republic. We need to... I was telling um, Shane we got to get together and come up with some song lyrics. I think Iron Root Republic would make a great traveling song. Peter White is asking, how does it hold up to the high, mid, uh, high West Midwinter Night Strand? I'm going to let you do that comparison. I do have to drive. I'm, I'm thinking it's, I think the Sagamore Spirits is going to win that one. Let's see, though. Really? What is that? Midwinter. High oh, West yeah, Midwinter, Midwinter Nights. Midwinter Nights now. Port finish, rye. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, this one is Act 5, Scene 7. Hmm. 
Omaha. What was Monique's bar's name? She even said it a couple times. I can't remember. I don't remember. It'll pop into you. You're sure. good on recall. Hmm. Really? Nose is pretty similar. Hmm. I mean, nose it. Hmm. Hmm. It's been a while since I went to the Midwinter Night Stram. Nice, sweet, cinnamons, rise, sweetness, and back to the Sagamore port. Mm. So Catnip G has a Buna Haben question. You even spelled it right. I can't even say it. The one you like. We'll come to it in a second. All right. Oh no, I don't know how to pronounce that one. I would, I would, I mean, looking, That's I would the say Co Benach is what it looks like. Right. Ko something, but you know, it was okay. But uh, I haven't had that. You no, had we, that one? when we were there, we tried it. They didn't they have a sample when we were down in their uh, their tasting room nine or whatever. I thought they let us taste it there. No, those were all barrels that were right there that were aging at the time, if I remember right. Mm, all right, your memory's better than mine. I thought we had it there. I thought we sampled it there. Um, well, I'm telling you, those are both good, uh, real close ABVs. Well, they're both they're both MGPs. Mm-hmm. Both MGP straight rye whiskeys, port finish, fifty and a half percent, forty nine. Hmm. All right. How hmm. long we've we been up and away? What? You've got the port. I've got the. I'm tasting it against the cask strength. Here. <laughs> I was like, wow, that one just seems a lot higher yeah, ABV. Try this one. That's port. So I'm the one that did the straight comparison. <laughs> well, I'm. Nope, nope. I about nope. messed yeah. it all up. Yeah, I was, you were grabbing the cask strength again. I love how the HW is ready available. Yes, yes. The High West, yeah, we can grab a lot of good stuff, although I don't have but, that over at my house. He liked how you were able to just reach over and grab it. Well, luckily I had that one. I know. Yeah. I know, but he, he liked it. Terry Miller <laughs> says, I love how you just reach over and here you go. go. Let's try it. That's one of the nice things about what we do. Well, and that's what um, well, another whiskey reviewer, it, you know, he's taking his bottles and, he's, and he was reviewing them and he's giving them away to friends. Oh, no. And he would only have like, 10 or 15 at his house. I'm oh, like, no, 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 dude. no, no, I'm like, no. you got to keep them just for that instance right there. No, yeah. It's also for you to touchstone. Oh, this reminds me of that. Not not that you shouldn't share it. Send your buddy samples, but don't get rid of them. All right. I got to start over now because I knew that. I was like, man, that other one's got a lot more punch to it. Well, that was the cask strength. So now I've got <laughs> the port. Who's the better blender is the question. Sagamore or High West? All I'll say is High West. Didn't they sell to... Uh, uh, what's her names for two hundred eighty-six million? Yeah, it was a lot of money. That's all I'm going to say. That's a win. Was that Pernod Ricard? The I think so. I can never remember, and then I say it wrong. Hmm. Those are both really similar. Sagamore is bringing a little bit more punch to okay, it, though, so and not just ABV. So Whiskey Freedom says, "Sorry, guys, I lost the feed for a few minutes. What was the verdict on the 1990 and the Oloroso? So it was the PX, and uh, it's the PX. I got the 1990. It's like twice as expensive, three times maybe. It's good. Uh, well, what's the PX go for? 110." Pounds. Okay. Yeah, twice more, a little more. But yeah. oh no, it is more because three hundred and some. Yeah, almost three times. Yeah, but so the nineteen nineties yeah. really good, and I liked it. And the sample I had there was good, and I thought, you know what, I want to have a bottle of this on hand. And uh, but the PX is just, it's just, even Me now it's better. I try it. I tried them next to each other. The nineteen ninety, I get a lot of nutty flavors. The PX is just unbelievable, rich plums, and uh, it's just, it's just so good. Uh, the Tomatin PX Distillery release is honestly one of the 
best three whiskeys I've ever had. Maybe yeah. one of the best two whiskeys I've ever had. Yeah, and we... Every we, time I have it, my eyes roll yeah. up in my head, <laughs> and I pass out, and I come to... You do what? In a motel room. <laughs> it's not good. It's not it good. is so good. We did the Very Merry Sherry Christmas or something close to that, and uh, out of the 16 bottles blind that were all sherry finished, we both picked it. So, mm-hmm. I mean... It's it's that good, and that's blind. I mean, that's totally blind. So um, that's what was so funny when he tells the German lady, "Don't get the Oloroso." Something break? Nope. Oh, sound like something broke. He's like, "Don't get the Oloroso one. Get the PX one." And she started. I make my own decisions, <laughs> and uh, she doesn't know who we are. So Richie Z was asking if we collected other whiskey tubers. Yes, coins. we've got uh, Trini and C's. Keep going, brother. Uh, here's the London Whiskey Club, a uh, Vin No Nonsense Whiskey, uh, Proper Poor Whiskey Club. Yeah. West Jolly Hello, was tuning in West. here a little bit. Uh, Chris over at the Last Drop. Ooh, I hadn't even seen that one. That was he gave me that in uh, at the Bon Accord. Oh, look at that. That's made uh, those of wood. Are ours, those are ours. Trinity and C's first edition coins. I like that. More kimchi. Scotch Four Dummies. Uh, oh, that's your Vin yep. No Nonsense oh, Whiskey. Yeah. Octo Vitae's. Old Soul Whiskey Guy. There's another one for you. Ooh. Look at that. He's been holding out. And Old Soul. Whiskey Dick. And I've got them. Um, they're out on the bourbon junkies. are out uh, on the bar out in the other room. So, yeah. We've got other. I know. We're using mashing drums. You know who likes us? It's these coin making companies. <laughs> We started something there. <laughs> so that's old Gene. Oh, maybe old Gene will send us a thank that's you. That's right. Gene some, needs to send us a special point. dummy coin. I've got to get one done with my uh, bonding with board game steel. Robert Licorice says uh, that to Matt, and he's still dreaming about that one. That's he good. got to sample that one. Yeah. Um, still going back and forth here on the Sagamore Port and the Midwinter Nights Dram. They're pretty close. The midwinter nice dram is a little bit lighter. It's G-Man, a little bit sweeter. G Man says, "What is the PX entire name?" Super, super, super question mark question mark. Hmm? Well, G Man, the PX. So it's in hmm. Tomatin. You've got to go to Tomatin's visitor center, and they have the. Well, you'll pull it, but it's the. It's their PX. We'll get it. It's a bottle of your own at the distillery. You get to fill out the label yourself. They've got the cask in the uh, visitor I center there. I should not have filled mine out. It looks like a third grader wrote on it. Uh, 55.5%. This one's almost 18 years old. Um, so it's only available at the distillery, unfortunately, mm-hmm. or auction. Yeah. Some people have bought them at auction because some people are buying them and then putting them up on UK auction Make sites. Make the trip. But um, we were in Inverness, it's, and and you know we told Roy, no matter what, we've got to get to Tamatin. So, and I'm glad I had shorts on. I didn't even know. Yeah, for a little bit. Sometimes you do this commando. <laughs> Let's wrap it up. We're at the hour mark. So, um, actually, I'm. The Midwinter Nice Dram is a little bit sweeter. It's a little bit lighter. Sagamore Spirits has a little bit more punch to it, which uh, I'm, I'm actually taking the Sagamore Spirits really? pour finish over it. Do you want to try them before we go? I did. I had them you both. both. Did you? Yeah. 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 What do you think? Them. Or did you get enough? Um, I agree They're with pretty. everything you said. A little bit more punch in the Sagamore, a little sweeter with the uh, Mid... Mm-hmm. Summer Nights Dram? Uh, I always mid-winter. mess up their night. Yeah, Midwinter mid-winter. Nights Dram. <laughs> it's summer, not winter. So, all right. Only three bottles. He's a minimalist, okay? You can be a minimalist. You used to see my board game collection. It's not minimalist. You know, I'm about to break a thousand. board games oh and then i'm gonna call it i'm gonna cut them down to 50 500 i think not oh. 50 500 maybe not <laughs> i was debating the two rise here oh 
He's debating. I was talking board games, baby. Mm-hmm. Board games. Nope, I'm leaning back. I think the Midwinter Night's Dram may take it by a hair. Either Got one. It. Both good. Both phenomenal. All right. They're great. Scotch it. You scotch gods. Thanks or everybody that tuned in. Riot. You rye gods. <laughs> Slunch it. Dummies. Dummies. And the OBS stays on for a bit. <laughs> <laughs>